let's get a little crazy, because gaming should be fun. Hey, 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 this is Miss Valley Gaming. My name is Dread, and the game is Inmate Survival. So, I've entitled this Short and Sweet, and uh, it is going to be a short video. Short and sweet? Well, maybe it'll be short to the point. I don't know. So, I know uh, they just dropped an update for this game. Apparently added in rivers, crocodiles, leopards, some patches, some fixes, other things. Um, I am not going to be trying those out and experimenting with those to see what's what. Um, I want to just talk about this game a little bit and why I am not going to be continuing a series with it. First of all, everything I say is opinion. It is my opinion. It is my honest opinion. Um, I will allow for my opinions to change over time. I will allow for the fact that I could be wrong. That, that is the, that is what opinions are. The opinions are opinions and they could be wrong. They're based upon feelings. They're based upon your own deductions. Maybe completely different than somebody else's viewpoint on things. So that being said, I, I have some major issues with the game. I do wish the dev, and I don't know the dev, I, I have not researched who the dev is, I don't know about the dev, devs, I don't, no idea. Um, I'm imagining it's probably a single dev, that's my feeling, but I don't know. I wish the dev all the best with this game, I, I truly do. Um, I see there's a river over there. Um, I, I, I wish the dev best luck. I, I, I think you're going to need a lot of luck. I think you're going to need a lot to make this game into something more than what it is, which is pretty juvenile and not working real well. Um, either that or you're going to need people to continue to lie about it in their reviews and uh, pump you up like you are the god of gaming and make everybody want to rush out and buy this it's a garbage try, honestly. Sorry if my language is a little harsh, but I'm very, very disappointed in this game. When I bought this game, I actually had high hopes that I was getting into a game that I know it was EA, early access, it wasn't going to be perfect. But I was really hoping this would be something that, I mean, I dove right into doing a series about it. I didn't do a first look at first look thing or I did a review on this. I, I dove in and I was like, I'm doing a series on this. Because people are saying great things about it. Why? Why are people saying great things? Like, do people honestly have people come into this? Like, I've never seen a video game in my life, but I just watched this, and it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Or are you lying for other reasons? I don't know. I don't know. So, issues I have. Your health will go down. If your thirst, proteins, carbs, fats, vitamins are at zero. Okay. So far, uh, up to this point, I don't know if anything's changed with rivers being added in, but thirst has only been fixed by drinking from coconuts. Coconuts raise your sickness level when you drink from them, though. That's, that, that's a really stupid mechanic. That is retarded. Okay. Excuse my, my language. Um... So even getting away from thirst, you've got proteins, carbs, fats, and vitamins, and you've got to keep them all above zero. You've got things like food food cans, all right, you can get from an airdrop. You, If you go to an airdrop, you get one airdrop a day, you can run across to find where the airdrop is, fight the guy guarding it, take the airdrop, you usually get a can of food. Um, you could also wander about on the island and just look everywhere at the ground, and you might find a plant, an edible plant. Like corn, where you'll get one ear of corn, or a potato, where you'll get a potato, right? Or a mushroom, where you'll get a mushroom. You'll get one of these things, and you'll be able to eat it, and it'll give you a little bit of something. Problem is, you got to keep these things all above zero. Other problem is, you have no way of knowing. Things don't respawn in the same spot. You've got no no M for map. You can't go and mark where you're finding things and go back to them. You can't get seeds and plant things. Grow your own. You are completely dependent on spending your entire day. And I'll get back to that part in a minute. I'm thinking a thought there. You're going to spend your entire day running out, looking for these plants everywhere, and hoping to find a couple of them during your during your looking around. Just hoping. They're, they're very seldom seen. Plus, running out to the airdrop and getting the can of food 
just hoping to get enough food to keep everything above zero so you can survive for the day. You will, as in the state the game is in, you will never store up food. You will never have three or four days worth of food and be able to say like, I've got three or four days worth of food. I'm going to worry about collecting food today. I can go do something else. It's not, it's not going to happen. Not without major changes to this game. Like major changes to almost everything about it. It's not just, oh, we'll just simply update it. We'll just change the, no, it's, it's, you're going to have to update so many systems to get that to, to change. Sorry, I'm moving around. I'm just making sure, like, I'm not sitting here talking and some inmate runs up and kills me. Um, building is terrible, too. I can't even friggin' have, I, I don't even, like, it's just terrible. Terrible building. Terrible building mechanics. Terrible. Have I said how terrible it is? I can't express how bad it is. So bad, I've never seen building mechanics this bad in a survival game of any kind. That's how bad it is. Terrible. Ter I, can't, I can't say the word terrible enough when describing building mechanics. Terrible. Uh, one of the problems with food also is days are really short. You will go out and run around and, I mean, I don't know how long I've been talking here, but you, you can watch the minutes go by. I mean... You can play for about 20 minutes and that's probably your day. It's probably already sundown from sunup. So to say the dev has a lot of work to make this uh, uh, an even halfway decent game is understating it. To get to an even halfway decent game, and that's not even talking about graphics because graphics are so simple in this game. They're embarrassingly simple. In this day and age, you should be, even in early access, coming out with a game with better graphics than this. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's the engine you're using, or it's your coding, or what it is, but it's not good. It is not good. And this movement mechanics and everything else that flows all around and intermingles with the graphics, also terrible. The way the menus work, Oh, it's your block button. Then you know that the way the menus work and stuff is is not good either. It it needs a it needs a you know what it needs to be blown up and started completely from scratch. Quite honestly, you've got a few ideas here for a game, but you need to start right from the very base, the base code, and redo the whole freaking thing. And of course, the problem with the fact that you've got you know some some base ideas for the game is the ideas from your game were all stolen from Scum and other games like that. I mean, it's so it's so badly implemented that it's it's an embarrassment. It is an embarrassment. I'm sorry. If you guys want to just mindlessly play a stupid game, then go ahead, pick this up. And if you want to hold out uh, hope against hope that this will get better, then you know you're allowed to have that hope. And you know what? If you if you play this and enjoy it, you are allowed to. I'm not saying. You can't. And I'm not saying, you know, two years from now, somebody may suggest this game to me and I go take a look at it and maybe everything I've talked about got redone and the game is actually halfway okay. As it is right now, it is a hot piece of garbage. And it's an embarrassment. Uh, I, I, how, I have to imagine this is the, uh, a single dev who maybe has never tried making a video game before. Or this is his first attempt. That is, that's just my guess. Again, I'm not researching it. I don't know. That would at least make sense to me. So, folks, this is my uh, my short and sweet take. My short and to the point one. Uh, this is uh, why I am not continuing this series. And really, I like I said, I had high hopes for this game or some hopes for this game. Uh, they were false hopes based on people lying to me, unfortunately. And uh, that pisses me off. People in the gaming community need to be freaking better about this. You want to complain about people like uh, CD Projekt Red that you say lied to you. And then you go and lie to other gamers about games to try to make them buy them. Like, come on. Um, yeah, this is a complete waste of my time, honestly. And uh, I think most of you who viewed this will probably feel the same way. So uh, we will not be continuing with this series. Will it get replaced with something else? Yes, I don't know what right now. So I uh, may not get replaced with anything right away. I'll have to think about it. I really don't know. But uh, this spot will open up for something 
that that deserves to be sp have time spent on it. So thank you very much, people. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't even know. You know what? From a really, really crappy and embarrassing game that may never be anything other than a hot piece of garbage. Uh, this is Miss Valley Gaming. My name is Dread. May all your crazy be in good fun. And if you want good fun, stay away from this thing. Stay away from the reviews and the people who say it's good because they are clearly either A, don't know what they're doing, or B, are lying to you. So, uh... Catch you next time. See you on another game, folks. Bye-bye. Because gaming should be fun. Let's get a little bit crazy. Crazy. Good. Fun.